Okay, guys. Um, we are going to try something. Um, this is going to be a flower, okay? Now, what we want with this flower is we want it to be very exciting. We want to have a pattern on it, okay? So this one's going to be pretty pretty easy, I think, but what's really going to make it work is how you color it, okay? The drawing part, I think, will be pretty easy for you, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by going around the middle, okay? Find about the middle spot, and you want to draw a circle, okay? Okay. Now, I bet a lot of you guys have different ways of drawing flowers already, okay? If you want to draw a certain kind of flower that you see or that you know how to do, maybe someone else taught you how to do it, you can do that, okay? That's fine. I'm going to show you this way, okay? And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go out, come back, okay, out and come back. See how I want them to be pretty close together, if not touching? Out and back. Okay, now I am not an expert flower drawer, but I think it looks pretty good. That's kind of a big space there, but it's okay. Want them to be about the same size. I realize mine are not, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, and just like that, we got ourselves a little flower here, right? Okay, now, going from here, we want to put a stem, right? Now, the stem, for me, is going to be kind of covered up by this, le by this petal right here. So I want to come down here and I want to pretend that my pencil is going to see just a little bit back there. Maybe yours isn't. I don't know. But we want one, two. Okay, see that? And there's our stem. Okay? Easy, right? Okay. Now, here's the next part. I'm going to start from down here and I want to try and trace right around it. Okay, I'm going to go in here a little bit, go back out, and see how this distance is about the same space all the way through. Got a little small right there, but that's okay. But we want it to be about the same distance, same space, all the way around. See that? Whoop, that one's a little bit too big. It's okay, I make mistakes too. Remember on these videos, guys, you can press pause and you can rewind as much as you need to. Maybe a good idea, just to, good idea just to watch it once and then go back and change and and review it and pause it and all that. But okay, so there's one lap. Okay, now um, if you guys remember when we did the bugs, remember that we did the laps but we did a dot 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 all the way around and we did at least what was it five laps okay now this is going to be much easier this is just a line okay and we got that idea from the aboriginal artwork that we looked at now this is going to be just a line okay now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to speed through this and go as fast as you can but i'm telling you you don't want to do that okay you need to be the turtle and not the rabbit. Go slow, take your time, make it nice. Always take your time. Don't rush through anything. Let's keep going. As you get further out here, it's going to get a little bit easier. Okay, go, you can go just a little bit quicker when you go out, outside here. 
just a little bit. Let's see how I try and keep my spacing the whole way. It's the same all the way across. We never want to cross that line. Okay, now I want you to see something. Let's see if I can move this forward a little bit. Okay, now you see this? If I go here, I'm about to go off the page. That's okay. If I go off the page, I just come back over here and keep going. It's not a big deal if you go off the page, okay? Just pick up your pencil and keep going. Whoops, I got a little kind of crooked right there, didn't I? It's okay. Now, I highly recommend that you use a pencil for this. That way, if you make a mistake, you can just erase it, right? Now, since I have a pattern going on here, right, I want you to think about how you want to color this. What pattern are you going to use to color? So, would you use blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, black, white, black, white, black, white, red, blue, black, red, blue, black, red, blue, black, 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 blue, blue, black, black, blue, blue. Rainbow colors. Repeat the rainbow colors. Warm colors. Cool colors. Maybe the outside is all warm colors and the inside is cool colors. Look, I'm starting to run out of room over here. That's good. It means this side's almost done. And I'm just going to go back over this way. Sorry, I couldn't see that part. And I'll finish up over here. And then I got to move that. In fact, let's turn this the other way around. Now, I've been drawing for just over eight minutes now, okay? This doesn't take that long to do. Now, the bigger your spaces are in between here, I think the quicker it's going to be for you to color it, okay? Now when we color, I think it's a good idea if you make very strong, bold lines by pressing down hard, going that back and forth, back and forth motion, and make sure you color it in real good by not leaving any white, okay? go okay that took about nine minutes now you can do this you saw how I did it you can rewind it and you can pause it you can watch this video a couple times if you need to but I don't think you do All right I miss you guys. I can't wait to see everybody. You're going to be one grade older. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I know you're going to be a lot bigger. Um, miss you. Hopefully this is this will be a cool thing for you to try. Um, I think today we're just going to do the color, the, the drawing aspect of it. Okay. And if you don't like what you made, then erase it or get a new piece of paper and try it again. 
okay? You can do this. I think it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see what you get, okay? So just draw in today or this week and the next week we'll work on coloring it in and, we'll, and, I, and I'll show you some different, some different ideas for that, okay? All right, guys. Be safe. Miss you. Bye-bye.